Well, thank you so much, Achola Simon, for that report. Now, the Ministry of Health is warning politicians against convening public rallies, even as it singled out public service vehicles and markets as the main drivers of the spread of COVID-19. Health Chief Administrative Secretary Dr. Rashi Daman says the constant flouting of the health guidelines is a ticking time bomb and could result in a wave of reinfection. This comes as the COVID-19 statistics rose to 35,460 after 104 more people tested positive for the virus. Eight others succumbed to the virus. Nancy Okware with more details. The Ministry of Health is cautioning Kenyans against lowering their guard and adhering to the guidelines in place to reduce the spread of COVID-19. Our teams have noted that there is continued overloading of some matatus and buses, both in the urban and rural areas with no regard to the social and physical distancing required. A man further discouraging politicians against holding gatherings during this pandemic that often attract huge crowds, exposing Kenyans to the risk of the virus. We urge them to desist from holding political meetings that draw large frenzied crowds. This is a recipe for disaster. The warning comes on a day when the country registered 104 new cases, emanating from 2,285 samples tested, pushing the total coronavirus burden to 35,460. At the same time, he says the Ministry of Health is ready to participate in the ongoing clinical trials by Oxford University that are now entering in the third phase. A man says that by doing so, the country stood a higher chance of acquiring the required doses once the vaccine is ready. Even if the earlier trial uh, may have to be scrapped for one reason or the other, I still believe that there is opportunity for us to uh, state our interest to be involved in the phase three uh, part of the study. The ministry further recorded 74 recoveries, out of which 41 were from the home based care program and 33 from the various health facilities. The number of recoveries now stands at 21,557. I want to appeal to those among us who are stigmatizing those who have recovered to please cease doing this. Stigmatization drives the disease underground and defeats efforts at containing the spread of the virus. However, the number of fatalities surpassed the 600 mark after eight more patients succumbed to the contagion. Meanwhile, the ministry received a donation of personal protective equipment from the Egyptian embassy to aid in the fight against COVID-19. Kenya has donated two million US dollars to the AU COVID-19 response fund and pledged a further one million US dollars to support the Africa CDC. So, Ieleoke Akwamba Sisi had to poke it, Sisi Si wa kupokea tu. Tuna pokea, lakini pia Sisi tuna changia. What we have presented uh, uh, 7,000 uh, PPEs to be presented to the uh, Kenyan government in order to support the medical sector. Nancy Okwari, Channel One News.